Access Pro Services Apple series. Today's topic will be manually adding devices to Apple Business Manager via Apple Configurator version 2. This program can be loaded to any Mac OS machine uh, that has access to the App Store. It's a free download and you simply just need to go ahead and download that which will then allow for you to set up a profile which we will show you here shortly to configure your Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi will be required so that when the device attempts to communicate with the server for assignment uh, to Apple Business Manager, it will allow to do so. So first you want to start by loading up Apple Configurator. The icon will be this little purple icon if you're using a Mac. From there we'll start with a new profile. So basically what you want to do is come into the new profile. We want to go ahead and configure this. You'll go ahead and populate all the information that you need here, any of the other information that is necessary, and then you'll go ahead and choose whatever type of security so that it will allow you to provide a password. You do need to ensure that this is accurate because if not, and we go to attempt to run this configuration against this mobile config file, if the device is unable to join the Wi-Fi provided, uh, this will end up failing the prepare function that we will be walking through today, and thus leave you with having to troubleshoot further to determine how to get a active working Wi-Fi profile. Once you've made all your changes here, you'll simply click the X. For today's purposes, I already have this all built out, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this, but you would basically just simply put whatever the name of the Wi-Fi profile is, leave the .mobile config alone, and then you'll put it wherever you'd like to put those. Once you have this waiting with the profile set up, you'll basically just need a cable to go ahead and connect your iOS device. Today we're gonna to be using an iPad, uh, but you can do this for iPhones or iPads, whatever you'd like. Cool thing with Apple Configurator is you simply just wait for the device to show up and show its capacity. If it has not been wiped, you will want to wipe the device. If not, the process will allow you to go through and wipe it. It just adds an additional step to the prepare. We'll go ahead and right click on this device. We will select prepare. And then from here for the prepare devices, ideally we're not gonna do anything fancy. This is standardly how it comes. We just want to add the device to the Apple Business Manager. We're not attempting to activate or complete the enrollment in this process. And we do want to allow this device to pair with other computers. So in the event that it needs to be troubleshot later on, there won't be any issues allowing it to communicate and be plugged into something like iTunes on a Windows machine or on a Mac. We'll go ahead and select next. And because we've never done this before, you'll basically get a thing that just says new server. We're gonna go ahead and just select next. From here, we'll go ahead and put in the name of what we would like that display to be. And you're gonna go ahead and just leave the server host name and URL alone, and we'll select next. Now, don't be afraid. This will go ahead and fail because we're not doing that second checkbox from the prepared device, which is allowing the MDM certificate to be provided to Apple Business Manager and on the back end Apple Configurator being able to basically push those through and add credentials to the device. Now you'll be brought to a screen that will be asking for your Apple Business Manager information. We'll go ahead and just borrow that from my notepad, plug this in, and then basically this is just going to ask you to log in as if you're doing so from the browser into Apple Business Manager itself. We'll go ahead and do the two-factor for it. And basically, once we get to this page, um, you don't need to do anything fancy. We're just going to generate a new supervised supervision identity. We'll click Next. And ideally, you're going to leave all of this by default because the MDM, and in our later series, will be able to create a profile that will then allow for you to determine what of these features we'll want to skip or show to an end user or the IT staff that will be configuring the devices for your MDM project. So we're just gonna go ahead and simply click next. Here yours will be blank. I've gone ahead and again chosen mine. You would just choose, it would bring up your file explorer or your finder, and then you go ahead and just choose. So from here, we'll go ahead and select prepare. And basically this is going to do a couple of steps process. And if this is the first time you're setting up that server, you will need the machine's password so that it can go ahead and do the configurations and save the certificates in your keychain. Now this does take a couple of moments, so we'll just go ahead and kind of talk through what's happening. Basically, it's waiting for the device to communicate back via the, the cable with lightning to USB is how we're doing this device currently. 
once it does that, it's going to go ahead and download any activation records that it can find on the Apple Business Manager to ensure that it's not added to some other organization's Apple Business Manager. Once that is completed, it'll go ahead and move on to step three where it will start the activation process. And simply what this is doing is once it's being added to Apple Business Manager, it will also add a new iteration of the OS to the device so that when you do power it on, whether or not it's been assigned on the back end of Apple Business Manager, it'll basically let you know that the organization owns the device and it's capable of assignment. We will want to go ahead and show you the Apple Business Manager side of the house and basically this will allow for you guys to see what will happen to the unit and how it would be assignable to the MDM servers, which will be another topic that we will go ahead and discuss in, in a later series run. Um, right now the device has disappeared from the screen so that's not bad. It has basically done the reset of the unit and then on, the, on the device you would expect to see the Apple emblem with the loading bar underneath it. Once the device shows back up here on the screen, this little preparing iPad um, back and forth slide will go away and you'll know then that we can go ahead and check the Apple Business Manager to ensure that the device made it there successfully. It's starting to load back up at this point, so we'll go ahead and find our window. Now, I've already logged into our Apple Business Manager, so basically we're going to go ahead and just do a quick refresh. And what we're looking to see here is when you do that connection in Apple Configurator, there will be a server created here that is called Apple Configurator and we would then be able to see that this device is now here. So whether or not you want to use it for MDM would require you to then go ahead and assign it. If not, you can just leave it as unassigned right now within the Apple Business Manager so that you could still use this as a consumer level device without any MDM interaction or involvement. Hope this series was helpful for you. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to us at mdm at connectuscorp.com and have a wonderful day.